Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us 29th of August and we will be able to extend out beyond that with Mr. Jeff S. ECM Ensembles. Maybe run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at Jeff SB2 for the next four weeks at the end of the video. Gets into the middle of September. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say there was no 6 10 forecast today. I was probably with the eyes last night very sore, so I Stayed offline and put some steroids in. They're quite a bit better today, but still not great. I think we'll get 6am forecast back up and running tomorrow. And, of course, with the easy EC30 day, look out as well. Like, share, and subscribe on all today's vids. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Now, we've got our latest calendar entry for February 2026. So, in five, in four, in three, in two, in one, here we go. This is our uh, latest entry for February 2026 for our calendar. Well done and congratulations to Laura Johnson making it two years in a row into our calendar. So well done, Laura. <coughs> So sorry, well done, Laura. Love it. Congratulations. And uh, well, if that doesn't sum up the bleakness of uh, a wintry landscape, I don't know what does. But the train, absolutely uh, gorgeous. There, nice, uh, nice old sting train in the middle of that wintry uh, landscape. If it wasn't the pylon, the pylons in the background, you'd look at that and think it might be from. I don't know, 1870 or something, might you? 1879, that freezing car winter, who knows? But uh, anyway, no, it uh, was taken last year or this year, so congratulations to Laura. Well done for making it to our February uh, entry. And we'll have another reveal. Gab will reveal all again tomorrow with our uh, March uh, entry. Congratulations to Laura Johnson. Well done, Laura. OK, let's have a look then at the National Hurricane Centre. By the way, B calendar will be going on sale in September. Not long to go now. Right, so let's have a look at National Hurricane Centre. Three interest areas, a yellow extras here, an orange extras there. And then, of course, we've got Hurricane Erin. More about Erin in a moment. Uh, so we've got Disturbance 2 just here, giving a 30% chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. Just moving uh, out of Africa and towards the Cape of Verde Islands. Then we've got Disturbance 1, a 60% 60 chance of site transformation in the next seven days. That could be one to keep an eye on. And then, of course, we have got Hurricane Erin just here, currently giving maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour with a minimum central pressure of 958 millibars. Clicking on Erin and going here, we can see that at the moment this is weak and back down to a hurricane. So it was a hurricane, but it became a major hurricane. Back down to a hurricane category two, I think now. It's predicted to go back up to major hurricane status, though, through the middle part of week, tomorrow and Thursday. And then uh, move out into the North Atlantic, where, of course, it will go uh, subtropical as it uh, loses its identity over the cooler waters. This sort of proved very difficult for other forecasters to predict. It's been a very uh, unpredictable uh, storm. So it's predicted to be hovering around Category 2 to Category 3 hurricane status over the uh, next couple of days. At one point, it was predicted to go to Category 5 hurricane, but I don't think it ever did. Uh, predicted to go subtropical at 120 uh, hours in the North Atlantic. We'll keep you updated. Right, OK, well, coming back to home, this is our latest wind blow map from EarthNoldSchool.net. is looking high pressures in control to the west of the UK and Ireland, and we're bringing wind from a northeasterly uh, direction there. So, dragging quite a lot of cloud from the northeast, and also some slightly cooler temperatures as well at the moment. Quiet week to come, not particularly exciting. We'll be interested, ready for the weekend and next week. Central England temperature is currently sitting at 18.3, 2.5 degrees above 51 to 99 average. In provisional to the 18th of August yesterday, I reckon that will start ticking down uh, from here on in. 
Means of a GFS upright temperature of temptation ensembles that couple of weeks on at Blackpool today. The red line is the third year upright temperature average for Blackpool. We're starting off above average with those upright temperatures at the moment. We're going to see them coming down though over the uh, next few days, which so brings some cooler air in from the northeast, of course. Next week, lifting up, but that's associated with the remains of Hurricane Erin. So, although the upright temperatures will lift up, we might not necessarily realise that down the surface depends how cloudy and wet the days are and then into early September we're hovering close to long term averages now precipitation wise there could be a lot of dry weather to come over the uh, rest of this week but next week looking a lot more unsettled with some pretty large precipitation spikes showing up so we could be in some wetter weather next week temperature anomalies for the next 5 days to the 24th of August below average for the north and the east near north a little bit above average maybe in the west island getting the best of the warmer temperatures 10 to 14 day reverting back to being slightly above average precipitation anomaly is next seven days the 26th of august significantly drier than normal but if we look at the 8 to 14 day we see that that starts going wetter than average down in the south and that's it uh, continues into the 10 16 day as well wetter in the south drier in the north that's quite a big change on what we've had uh through this summer of course and the spring Right, well, let's have a look at the chart data then. So, this double nature UK met Europe. We're talking big night on Friday. Bridge of high pressure out to the west, and we bring in a cooler northern wind. Now, through the uh, weekend, so a ridge is maintained through much of the weekend, but by bank holiday Monday, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, low pressure is starting to come in from off the Atlantic, possibly heralding uh, quite a significant change there. So, into next week, looking more unsettled. That low, of course, does contain the remains of Hurricane Erin. And then we've got Icon looking like that. So again, ridge through the country. There's Erin, of course, uh, moving into the North Atlantic there over weekend. So ridge through the country through the earlier part of the weekend. But by the time you get through to Bank Holiday Monday and next Tuesday, low pressure starts coming in from the Atlantic. Again, if you follow that, uh, low, uh, that's the remains of Erin from the uh, eastern seaboard of America to here, you'll know that that low does contain the remains of Erin. So Erin bring a change next week for us to something more unsettled possibly wetter and then the KMA uh, looks like that again rich river country gradually weakening the layer of pressure about out in the Atlantic turning rather wet and windy by the time you get through to the middle part of next week that so one look out of place as an autumnal chart and another low following it in suggesting that we end August on a cooler and a more unsettled note. Blimey, I'll be setting up a wet September. <laughs> um, well, winter update fans will know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> Right, yes, so sorry everyone, GFS Midnight Run, again, with that rich through the country, through the earlier part of the weekend, crash, she talks back on money, that rich begins the weekend, check that out, that's Monday, Tuesday, Midnight Tuesday, so that could bring a washout back holiday Monday into the south, oh dear, um, that looks very unsettled, doesn't it, well, we get through into the second half of next week, uh, just as a general chop of low uh really and then more low pressures are coming in from off the atlantic through the opening days of september as well looking rather changeable there ah oh, no i haven't got the six set up so i tell you what i better pause the video and get the gfs six set up hold on a second everyone Okay, six that is. I've only been doing this for 13 years. You can't expect me to know what I'm doing, can you? <laughs> uh, well, this is the GFS 6 then. And again, we've got the ridge through the country on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. The ridge is maintained, but by bank holiday, Monday starting to weaken. So low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic, containing the remains of Hurricane Erin from Monday through to Tuesday. That yields of unsettled, what looks like an unsettled middle part to next week. We've low pressure right over the top of the country carrying on today 10 as well and verbal low pressure ahead
heading in into the opening days of September as well. It looks like that's quite a pronounced pattern change. So we've been wondering in the videos, 10 to 14 day videos, over the past couple of days, whether Erin is just going to bring like a temporary change. And after it's pushed through, we'll go back to the pattern that we've had for several months, which is, of course, high pressure dominated from the uh, Azores high. Or whether this is a fundamental change, whether Erin can actually bring a fundamental change, will break the ridge totally and uh, will go off in a, into a different pattern. And it's still unknown, but today's model output actually looking rather more you know, rather more low pressure, if anything, uh, for early September, which is quite unusual. September tends to be like a drier and uh, warmer singularity in the first week, 10 days of it anyway. So, interesting times. It's going to be very interesting to see how this uh, works out. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to everyone board dear Matt. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content, live streams, etc, etc, etc. And don't forget to tell friends about guys like this. Get them to subscribe to. And thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that for us. Okay, GM. Again, with a ridge on Friday into Saturday too. Sunday, the ridge is weakening. Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday in comes lower pressure from off the Atlantic. Starts to see wet weather spreading eastwards as we get to days 8, 9, 10. We've got low pressure southwest approaches with bouts of rain being thrown up. The jab is turning unsettled through next week. And then the ECM rounding it off under the ridge into the weekend by back calling Monday signs of a ridge weakening. So Monday to Tuesday, yes, low pressure is beginning to head in from off the Atlantic and and as we go through next week, well, the rich tries to fight back. A bit different from the East Shem. The rich trying to fight back through the middle part of next week, but unsuccessful, really, in that attempt. And, uh, well, by the end of August, that's Sunday the 31st, last day of the month, looking properly autumnal there, and uh, a 985 millibar dartboard low right over the top of the coach. So that attempt for the rich to try and fight back middle of next week, um is doomed to fail. And we go into the opening days of September, looking changeable, low pressure to the northwest of Scotland, bringing wet weather in from the west. Right, well, this is a precipitation forecast based on the East Run from Tometcho.com. Going to be a lot of dry weather up to the Bank Holiday weekend and even into it. By Bank Holiday Monday Road next Tuesday, wet weather starting to gather to the south and west and uh, slowly but surely both bouts of rain start to spread eastwards as well. And these are the options on the table within the East um, Ensembles today. Four day tear from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to 29th of August. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to be south and east. High pressure is away to the north and west. And we bring wet weather into the south. Therefore, we've got 16 with low pressure to the south and west. High pressure to the north and east. Again, we drag up those southerly winds being bounced around south and west. And then 15 with low pressure over country. They all look unsettled, I have to say, at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it gets us to the 3rd of September. So 21 members of the ECM on some, some, some sort of up a level trough really through the northwest of Europe. 16 with low pressure over country and 14 with low pressure just to the west. Day 10, it looks like we're unsettled. Day 14, possibly still keeping it unsettled too. And then the CFS B2, finally, these are 500 millibar height anomalies. They're broken down to wheat peers. First wheat peer will take us from the 19th, 25th of August. Next week, with high pressure, ridging from the Atlantic up to Greenland, trough low over Scandinavia, bring the wind in from the north and from the north. It's mostly dry, but not a heat wave. Week 2 shows a change. It's the 26th of August to the 1st of September. Low pressure takes over to the west of the UK and Ireland, that bringing uh, unsettled conditions in off the Atlantic. Week 3 will be the 2nd to the 8th of September. 
under a trough of low. That looks like an unsettled and cooler start to September. And week four also looking a bit mixed. It's the 9th to the 15th of September with low pressure between Iceland and Scotland. And we bring the wind in uh, from the west a little bit like that. Changeable then once week one is out of the way. And potentially quite a significant pattern change here courtesy of Hurricane Erin. We'll see. Rods might be over doing it, or we might be seeing, you know, one of those turning points, which we haven't really had this year. So I suppose, like, um, the main turning point was probably to the dry weather and cyclonic weather was probably, I don't know, was it about December, January? But we first went uh, anti-cyclonic, probably January. And we've kept it up really ever since. Uh, this could be like a pivotal per turning point of the year, but we won't know for a few more weeks until we are beyond, you know, beyond it. And we see just how long the unsettled weather is in for. Time will tell. We're done. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know one thing about this and all our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about girls, members, get to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. I think we only put on about five subscribers to get to 20.5k. Subs moved quite a bit yesterday and the day before. So, um, well, thank you so much for subscribing. You know, whether you're new or uh, an OG, whatever. Thank you so much for all of us support over all of the years. Tomorrow, going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, 10 to 14 there, and I'll be live for channel members as well. So, your channel member check into your channel member live stream, second channel member live stream for August at 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. But for this one, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and bye for now.